Hello and welcome to another update video about Quant, certainly one of the more interesting charts. In this video I just want to give you a quick update, zooming in here, not looking at the higher level because I am running a bit out of time and really just to update you, anybody who wants to see the bigger picture, take a look at my video from yesterday. My opinion, it is not guaranteed yet that we are already moving up in wave 5. My take on this is that wave 5 is still generally coming, so either we are already in wave 5 or um, it will come after one more little dip in wave E and we will then move up. So let me explain. First of all, we've moved up here in wave 3, we peaked at $145. We then moved here into the target box and this could just be an A, B, C pattern, a running flat. Now a running flat pattern is rare, but it's technically possible. So from here, which was at around $128, there is definitely a chance that we are moving up in wave 5 now into this area between 151 and 167 dollars. This is not confirmed yet. This is not confirmed because we have not broken above the 145 dollar level. As soon as we break above the previous wave 3 high, my strong expectation will be that we go up straight away. Until that's the case, we also have to very much consider that this could just be an Elliott wave triangle. How does that work? A triangle pattern is a pattern that oftentimes occurs in a wave 4. As you might have realized, I think this is a wave 4. You often see in a wave 4 long sideways ranges, sideways movement, um, and the triangle is here to bore you out. Yeah? Um, a triangle can work out in a wave A, B, C, and it's important here that the wave C did not break the wave A, which it didn't. And then we would move up in a wave D. Very important that the wave D does not break above the wave B high, which it didn't. And we would now move down in a wave E. And the target for that would be $132. Okay. So this here is for me a very likely option. And then we would move up from here in wave 5. So these are the two options. So really waiting here for the $145 level breakout. That would indicate strongly we don't see the triangle, we're breaking out straight away. And um, what, what must happen is we have to hold the $120 level, which is the 50% FIB level retracement of the wave three. If we drop below that level, it's very unlikely it's still a wave four, and we might actually already be on our way into this larger wave two retracement and have to assume that the wave 4 was already in here, that the wave 5 was already in here, and that all we are doing now is coming down in a wave 2, in an A, B, C pattern, down into the area between 100 and 117 dollars. So these are the key levels that are of relevance. It's a fairly straightforward chart. These key levels should tell us where we are heading. Um, at the moment we are in a range, I think waiting for the range to break out to get a bit more clarity is not a problem. We obviously were here in the support area. Yeah, There was a chance to buy again for anybody who wanted to. And I'm not telling you to do this. This is entirely up to you. But these are the areas where I personally expect prices to reverse. We had a reversal here and we had a reversal here. We had several reverses. Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. This one was missed by a few dollars. Here was one. Here was one. So there's another one and there will be one here. Now we need to see how high quant really pushes. Um, if this is a wave five, I would even give it the possibility to max out completely that green area, maybe even overshoot it. Okay, so let's see. Just want to update you quickly on quant. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.